I'm telling y'all, I'm loving me some Oprah Winfrey. She's got it going on. I'm telling y'all. I mean, say what you want to say. This woman is a marketing genius. She's got a new uh, food line out where she's doing, I've done it before on my channel, making mashed potatoes out of cauliflower. I just love her. She's just continues to market herself and reinvent things and introduce it to communities. Oprah, your girl loves you. Lady T loves you. Oh, that's good. That's her new food line. Good morning, y'all. I'm headed to my doctor's office to do my year-end exam. Wellness check. Make sure everything is going well. Good morning, Tanya Howe here for my appointment at 11.45 with Dr. Drone. Ms. Tanya, has your address insurance in the bank No. $30. Okay. Okay. Here I go. Getting my blood taken, y'all. All right, y'all. I got my blood drawn, and I'm gonna probably do a healing sample next. And one of the major things I came here and I try to do a year end is I want to see where I'm at. I come to the doctors about three times a year. Um, oh, and if I, anything else is going on throughout the year, I need to come. Um, but one of the things I wanted to try this year is, uh, or going into 2018, is that I want to see if my doctor approves me to do nothing but vegetables and fish. In other words, become a vegetarian for six months, just to see how it makes me, how it works with me and my medicine that I have to take. So I'm going to get his okay for that. And, check with him and see what's, what's his thoughts on that. So in other words, I'm giving up chicken, beef, um, turkey, and pork. Um, so the only thing I'll be eating is, is plant-based, um, grains, some breads, and um, nothing but fish like salmon, um, stuff like that. So anyway, um, I always run that kind of stuff by my daughter because like I said, I know we all feel like we can do things uh, in our diet to improve our health. But as I embark on this new chapter in my life, um, because of the medications I'm on, I have to consult my daughter and I think anybody should consult their daughter when they're changing up what they're going to do because you don't know how that medicine may affect um, affect your body um, and how your body metabolizes stuff and if you're cutting away something that it's used to you got to be prepared for the side effects of that and uh, like I said um, I'm a Thundercat, yeah, I love to eat, but trust and believe, I'm here at my doctor's checking out what's going on within my body, and I know a lot of people give advice and try to, you know, but that's why I come to the doctor. I come to my doctor regularly. I'm not a person that just listens to what the TV say and listen to what people say. I have to, I, they, they're the ones who draw my blood and can tell me what's going on with, with inside my body. So again, I can't, I can't stress that enough. Is that um yeah it would be beautiful to be thin but I'm also wanting to be healthy and I know when to pull back and when I you know um, when I'm going too far so anyway just want to just share this little snippet with you while I'm waiting to see the doctor and um, got some other personal things I need to discuss with him um, female issues and um, things I need to perhaps look at in the future but we'll just take it episode by episode. I know I look rough, y'all. I just took a shower, put on some eyebrows, and everything else is all natural. What's up, y'all? I'm in the doctor's office waiting for the doctor to come in. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm telling everybody I'm at the doctor's office.
Okay, y'all, all is well. I've checked out. Uh, my blood work looks really good. I gotta work on my sugar a little bit. And, um, but it looks good, he said. Uh, he said, I done a really good job. Like I said, y'all, I be eating, but you know, during the week and stuff, I be watching it, I be watching it. But on the weekend, yeah. I had my little way on the weekend. But um, I come back in about another four months, around Aprilish, and uh, check and see how I'm doing. But anyway, I'm happy. He said um, he has uh, given me the green light to do the vegetarian deal. He said, but now the danger is, he said, he said I'm going to tell you, Tanya, it's going to be hard for you because based on your blood work and stuff. I know that you like pastas and bread. And, and I told him, I said, yeah. He said, so just remember when you're on these, when you, when he, he was telling me for you and your situation and your blood work and stuff, he said, just be careful not to substitute you not getting that meat with a bunch of bread and a bunch of uh, carbs. He said, because, and pastas that is, rice, pasta. He said, because that's what happens to a lot of people when they transition over is that they don't see that immediate weight loss. They don't see that immediate feeling better because what they do, they're not getting that meat. So they substitute and they automatically go to pastas and go to breads. He said, so I want to just caution you on that. So I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's good info. He said, so just, you know, continue to do what you're doing. You know, of course, have your cheat days because actually cheat days help to reset your body. And so anyway, um, anyway, we just talked about some other personal stuff that, you know, um, that, that, that I would like to pursue concerning some female issues with my body. But other than that, I'm, I'm a happy camper. Um, he, you know, of course, exercise, he keeps telling me, you know, you need to get a little bit more exercise in your, in your daily routine and i agreed i need to do more exercise so anyway um other than that i'm a happy camper and uh this lets me know the goals the goals the goals that uh, i gotta pursue for 2018 so anyway when you can if you can always consult your doctor when you're trying to switch up and change up and do things because again you got to make sure what's going inside your body not what a lot of people say you need to do this and do that because the medicine you, that you have to, that you're taking, it has to work with what you put in your mouth. It really does, and I think it's just smart um, for you to consult your doctor when you're doing anything health-wise that's different. Because you don't want what you do be kind of productive with the medicine that you're having to take. So anyway, again, I just want to jump on and just talk a little bit about that. And um, guess what, y'all? Um, I'm finna go take my car to get it serviced because I was gonna go do that yesterday, but the children hijacked my day, so I'm going to get my car to get serviced or change, and uh, I'll and and they can let me know whether or not I need to get an oil rotation. No, I mean a tire rotation, and um, and then I'm gonna give you something to eat because guess what? I've been fasting all day, so you know when they did my blood work, um, and I did tell them I said, listen. I'm hooked on root beers. He said, again, be careful with that carbonated. He said, but make sure it's diet. Um, don't do that uh, regular root beer. I said, well, yeah, I done cheated a little bit and did regular root beer. So anyway, um, but anyway, you know, you take it day by day. Um, do the best you can and then hope for the best. Anyway, let me go and get this the rest of my business done so I can go check on my man. And then I can go check on my mama and go check on the kids. Anyway, love y'all. Bye. All right, y'all. I'm headed to the paste office. What did I get? Some junk mail, of course. Let's see. 
Lucky 13. Ooh, looky, looky, loo. All right, here's what I got on my peel box. One of my lovelies from Lady T Sensations or Tanya Howe. All right, y'all, I'm at the pharmacy getting my prescription refilled. All right, y'all, what happened to the prayers of the saints? Tell me why come I just went into Walgreens. Two bags. I went in there to get a $25 prescription filled. And I walk out with $80 worth of stuff in two, and it's only in two bags. I'm telling y'all, New Year's resolution. Tanya, I'm putting it out there in the atmosphere, Tanya. In the name of Jesus, only go to the store and get what you're supposed to get only and keep it moving. You know, this is really bad. I, I'm going to confess it. This, this is really bad. Um, I, You know, I, I wind up getting stuff like this and I just went to the doctor. You see what I'm saying? I just went to the doctor. He said I was doing good with my sugar and what do I do? Because this was on sale. for three. This is an $8 bag of candy. It was on sale for $3.50. Um, I mean, what are we doing, people? What are we doing? I had to get me some water because, honey, I'm, I'm, I'm parched. But like I said, here's the prescription. And anyway, pray for me, y'all. And don't tell people you're on vacation because they'll use your, they'll, they'll try to fill your day. Uh, trying to do stuff for them. That's another New Year's resolution. When I go on vacation, uh, I won't y'all y'all won't know it, and neither will nobody else. Yeah, I'm on one of them today. I'm trying to. I'm out and about trying to relax, and I got folks blowing my phone up, wanting me to do stuff, and I'm just trying to relax and chill and do what I want to do. And people are filling up my time with what they want to do. So anyway. I'm in my little leave me alone mood. And I'm going to tell y'all another daggone thing too. It's John Brown cold out these doors. I'm here to tell you. Woo, that's good and cold. You know it's cold outside. When you get some cold water and when you walk outside, no frost forms on your bottle. It just stay crisp looking because the temperature is the same. Anyway, let me get on to the house. I've been out and about for about four hours. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all can see I'm at home chilling. It's like 21 degrees outside. Uh, no, I done did my running around. I done did some sticking and moving today, y'all. But anyway, I'm home. As y'all can see, I got on my onesie from Target. I'm loving it, y'all. I'm loving it. Loving it. So anyway, I also picked up. I showed y'all where I picked that up. I know. I know. I know. But I also picked this up. Um, y'all know I do the cold wash with the can too. Well, they had buy one, get one 50% off. So I'm going to try this oil sheen. I'm just going to have to cover my nose when I spray so this didn't get in my lungs and they also had this um coconut oil shine and hole mist so i also got this and again i went in there for prescription and yeah i come out with 80 some dollars worth of stuff what anyway i'm done for today y'all i'm in i'm chilling i'm getting ready to watch me some um catch up on me some shows and I'm just enjoying my vacation. I really am. After everybody stopped pulling on me. Anyway, bye y'all. Peace, love, and God bless you.